I wanted people to look at me as in it was back in that time. I wanted people to look, give me that same look, but yeah. I didn't want to go to that image. I didn't mm. want to go back to get goals. I didn't want to. Jeffrey Lamar Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, was born on the 16th of August of 1991 in Georgia. The American rapper and musician quickly became one of the most influential figures in the hip-hop industry after his meteoric rise in 2013. His eccentric rap style and flamboyant fashion sense made him a rapper many looked up to. In 2019, Jeffrey won his first Grammy for his contribution as a songwriter in Childish Gambino's This Is America. Everything was going well for the rapper until May of 2022. In May of 2022, the rapper got arrested because of his affiliation with the notorious street gang YSL. Despite being a Grammy winner rapper, there's little to no hope for Young Thug. Let's take a look at all the legal troubles that have now put Jeffrey in jail. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. And if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone, then all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel, watch this video till the end, and find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Sued by a bus driver. Gang wars are an open secret in the rap community. A big downside of all this is the shootouts that happen between gangs, which often injures innocent civilians. In 2015, YSL's rival gang, The Bloods, opened fire at his tour bus. The driver of the bus sued various rappers and music producers, including Young Thug. Absence from shows. In January of 2017, Young Thug didn't show up to a concert in Salem Stadium even after signing a $55,000 contract. He'd done this before as well. In 2016, a Texas company filed a lawsuit against him for not performing a concert. Slapped a woman. In April of 2017, the tap out singer lost his temper and slapped a woman. There were claims that a woman was arguing with Jerrica Carlay Thug's fiance. He then stepped in and hit the woman. However, the battery charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence. Drugs and gun charges. In April of 2017, Young Thug Sandy Springs House was raided by the police. The law enforcement charged him with felony cocaine possession, felony marijuana possession, and three counts of felony gun possession. Eventually, the police had to drop the charges because they conducted the raid without a search warrant. That same month, he was also sued by Heritage Select Homes. They claimed he hadn't paid them $2.2 million for the houses he bought. A racket of drug distribution. Later that same year, the relationship rapper got handcuffed again in Georgia because of multiple drug possession charges. He was released on a bond a few days later. In 2018, he got arrested with intent to distribute meth, hydrocodone, and marijuana. Young Thug also had a firearm in his possession. He got arrested due to gang and racketeering charges. In May of 2022, Young Thug got arrested in Atlanta for multiple gang-related charges. The police locked him up for his high-ranking position in the street gang called YSL. The prosecutor alleged that since Young Thug has become a more powerful member, the crime rate has only gotten higher in the area where the gang operates. After he got arrested, the police raided his home and seven other felonies were added to his charge sheet. Three bails have been rejected. Since May of 2022, Young Thug has tried bail three times, but each time it got rejected. After this, Thug and his lawyers asked for a speedy trial, which was then given the date of January 2023. However, the prosecutors made the court push it until March. His lawyer tried really hard to get the trial back in January, but couldn't do that. He said, It's unjust that Young Thug rots in the county jail and has not been provided a complete discovery by the prosecution and is being required to wait on the appointment of counsel for co-indictees. The YSL Connection In 2016, Young Thug founded a record label called YSL, which law enforcement has called just a front for the YSL street gang. His lawyer said that Young Thug's YSL is an abbreviation for Young Stoner Life, but the prosecutors seem to think otherwise. According to the court, Thug is using this music label as a way to recruit young, naive rappers who he would then use in his crime ring. Young Thug's lawyer has even tried to negotiate that he will stay under house arrest with an electronic ankle monitor. He also said that the court can keep officers outside his home 24-7 to keep an eye on him. Yet nothing seemed to work and no bond was set to get him released. To keep him inside the jail, the lawyers are relying on the delayed trial date and they've cited security reasons for not granting him bail. Right now, things are not looking good for the Atlanta rapper and only time will tell if he'll ever be able to get out of jail. The Movement to Protect Black Art 
Since the beginning of rap, the lyrics are being used as evidence in court to put rappers in jail. The case of Young Thug is also no different. The prosecutors have quoted many of his lyrics and deemed them as a confession. One of the most quoted verses is from Thug's song Slatty. It goes like this. I killed his man in front of his mama. Like fuck little bruh, sister, and his cousin, I shoot out, kill him, not leaving a trace. This has once again started the debate about why only black rappers are exclusively targeted about what they say in songs. The genre of rap thrives on hyperbole and talking about street life. Many people have come in support of the Protect Black Art movement, which is meant to keep art as art and not get exploited in court. Due to these lyrics, the prosecutors have made the court reject bond requests. And right now, things do really look bleak for the Atlanta rapper and his associates. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below what you think will happen with Young Thug's trial. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below as well. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.